use! We can't even scratch them! What's happening? Who's in control of those things? Get in touch with the 4th Armored Division! We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig! Gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! How oh, can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. We want not to let those terrorists have their way. Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun of the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Bastard! Field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. You messed with the wrong teacher. Right. Leave it to me.
Just activate! things were the same as the one we fought outside the ground. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory crew, and a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Understood. Right. Crossbell stayed on the other side. There! Those 
those are? The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn. How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh, we don't have time for this. We need to take these things out fast. Right there with you. Let's send these Cretans to the Scrappy. It's a fight they want. My turn. It's my turn. Now. An opening. Here we go. My turn. Leave it to me. There! Of course. Leave it to me. Leave it to me.
I'm sorry, everyone. My turn. I'll show you how it's done. sure it's safe to <gasps> railway guns no 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 don't
the Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Almost there. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. Those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. Uh -huh. Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah. But, now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony, though. I totally forgot to ask her name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right, though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That orbment they sent with the uniform is pretty strange, too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue orbment, that's for sure. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day.
I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler? <laughs> he certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. Uh, but, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Bereahard. As you wish. I shall be departing, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. Wow! An Orbal limousine! And one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crust send their children here. Welcome to Thor's Military Academy. You're... let's see... Yes, you're the last of them. That'd make you... Rain Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. 
Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth! and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? Yeah, no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy route. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah. Just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine, either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. What 
is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> Did... Did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. Well, look who finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? What, uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke! And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Uh, who are you again? Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! 
Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Just, just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> What's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusis Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. Do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of- Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier? What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? Cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. Oh, what just happened? The floor gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? <sighs> I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay... Easy now. Hands where she can see them. Oh, what happened? Huh? <laughs> um, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Ah! Wow! It's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope.
What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. Huh? Is this? It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. It seems to be some sort of portable ornament. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle ornament. Is that Miss Valestein? So these devices have built-in communications functionality then? Wait, don't tell me these things are... New model battle ornaments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Rhineford Company. Newly made fifth generation battle ornaments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle ornaments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing a quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your Arcus. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to try. <sighs> what is this woman thinking? See mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? What's this? That's called a master quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use art. Go on, give it a try. nifty features, but I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once, so we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around though, so don't let your guard down even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Uh, um... I don't think she's joking. <laughs> hey. 
And just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What, what the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class system dragging me down. <laughs> um, what should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? No, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well, I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Huh. <sighs> Not nah, such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of... awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it... a staff? Wait, no. It's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbal staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it, so when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. 
we should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. seen this kind before. It looks like a flying field. Now's our chance. We can do this. Leave it to me. We're unbeatable. Please tell me there aren't more of those things lurking around here. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert. Seems to be a treasure chest here.
the fight they want. Leave it to me. Go! Arcus, activate. Yeah. Come on! Huh. Leave it to me. Ha! Oh, we did it. It's my turn. Here we go. Right. Leave it to me. <gasps> there. I've got this. Right. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah, gotta make sure we're not going in circles. All right. <laughs> Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! Leave it to me. Go! There! My turn. There. It's my turn. My turn.
Go! Leave it to me. Let's keep moving. <sighs> Elliot, are you okay? I don't see any obvious injuries. I I'm okay. I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up. And there we go. Look out. Elliot! Huh? Uh. Like I made it just in time. Heck, idios for that. Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machias, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly, and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and... There you are. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah. We stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. Welcome aboard. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machias Regnitz. Could... Could I ask you what social class you each belong to? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reen? Well... 
Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Oh, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. Somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. Leave it to me! Go! What's a place like this even doing on the school grounds? Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? Enemy sighted! Let's take them out! Come on! Leave it to me! Turn. Arcus, activate. Ha. My turn.
right. Take that. It's my turn. There. <laughs> I go where the wind takes me. Now's our chance. Here we go. Leave it to me. There. Leave it to me. How about this? It's my turn. There. My turn. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Right. All right. We're just getting started. Right. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Here we go. Arcus, activate. Right. Let's keep moving. Leave it to me. Right. Here we go. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out.
All right. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. are hanging in there. Huh. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsade from the town of Lagram. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. Magram? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait, so your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of Lagram. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if, if I... Uh, say... I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. I think I was outdone. Am I a girl no less? <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too. Yours looks different from mine, though. So it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Huh. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Uh, Elisa. Ruer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Reinford Company's based in Ruer, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. 
You may require protection. You needn't be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver hair. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl, and we still need to track down Duke Alvarea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. It can rot down there. <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. <laughs> <laughs>